computer that means if you have a computer and you run the program which is uh, antivirus what is it going to do it's going to look out for viruses right but then how about if you run a program that is not antivirus but it is a virus then the body is going to act as if it's been attacked to the rules of what that virus requires now what makes you think what we call the media mainstream the cool shit is not a program that is in fact a virus to self-destruct the body to self-destruct the body and this is how media works um, people don't understand this but this is very and again all that I'm saying right now is very very surface based um, to explain this you we, it needs a, a, a dualistic dialogue so that it's truly intricately understood right now it's more like a monologue where I'm just answering I'm just speaking to you um, but you know this can be analyzed in several ways now how do you hijack a brain? Understand how you hijack. I've told you the method, but how is the question. How do you hijack a brain? Simple. In hijacking a brain, right? It's, we, 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 we have to understand what this brain contains. Right? Right about, I think it's about here, about this point. Right? Here we've got what we call the reptilian. <laughs> reptilian brain. And then if you move slightly above it, right? You've got the mammalian brain. Right? And then above this, right, and I'll put this whole part, you have the neocortex. Neo meaning new. Neocortex. Right? Now, these three brains, right, the brains are very complex computer. I'm not going to deny that. Right? But these three brains have got specific functions, these three brain structures. And the functions go down like this. The reptilian brain is in charge of survival, direct survival, right, and replication. That's the reptilian brain's function. This, is, this part of the brain is the most vicious part of ourselves that we would ever see, right? We, 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 we try to keep it tamed, but we can't keep it tamed, okay? This, this part, if, it's, if, if it ever picks out a signal that we're under threat, it jumps, hijacks the brain, and takes control of the brain. Do you understand? This part of the brain is the most powerful part of the brain. In fact, the reptilian brain is the most densest part of the brain with so many neural connections that the whole entire brain cannot amass to the neural connections within the reptilian brain. And this is where your ancestors lie, by the way, just to let you know. When I mean they lie, I don't mean they sleep, but their genetic code from wherever is all stuck in there. When I'm in genetic code, I mean memories, uh, genetic resemblances, behaviors, uh, um, our instinctual behaviors stuck in there, okay? The mammalian brain, this is a beautiful part of the brain, and this part of the brain is only here due to the fact of human evolution realizing that working as a team develops greater chances of survival, so emotional bonds have to be made, right? Now, emotional bonds doesn't mean emotional feelings. It means 
the need to feel threatened, right? Jealousy. Do you understand? This part is very, very highly, uh, uh, highly evolved and highly important. The neocortex, on the other hand, this is what I call the logical brain. Logical brain. And the logical brain works in this function. The logical brain works in the function of purely execution, seeking out different strategies and applying different strategies for an end goal or a winning goal. So the neocortex is basically the memory bank of all information within the lifetime that we live and it's strategized and in it if you ask a question for instance if you say um, how can I get to from point A to point B what the brain does it goes into the neocortex search, 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 finds a link between the neurons that will provide you the perfect strategy on how you get from point A to point B right now all these brains work together some get excluded so some get involved right people who tend to get angry very quickly without a thought of control right are basically people who work within the two levels of mammalian and reptilian those who act in total control but with no emotional engagement are those who act with the reptilian and the neocortex. Now, if you want to control a brain, what do you control? Well, you control the strongest part of the brain you control the reptilian brain. Your basic achievement should be to achieve to control this part of the brain so that this part of the brain engages that part of the brain and this part of the brain so that they end up working to a certain specific goal. Now, how do you, how do you control the reptilian brain? You control the reptilian brain by saying that you control the reptilian brain by saying that whatever you do or whatever is perceived is related right whatever you say or do is related to survival or replication survival or repli or reproduction yeah that's it so whatever you do is related to survival or reproduction that's how you control the reptilian brain so ie if you produce more artists that come out on the media such as Bob Marley Bob Marley, 